over the Dallas Mavericks, and here it's been all Indiana. Richards, basket, that is the first quarter that Charlotte has posted at least 20 points here this afternoon. Now that's, that's a full grown up. <laughs> Jordan Surkamp is the, um, is the summer league coach for the Charlotte Hornets. And this was not easy to get this team here. We, we didn't really talk about it at all today, but Scotty Lewis, who was in his second year, former second round pick, went down in practice yesterday, a really severe injury, a fractured leg. And, you know, they, they cut short practice after about 45 minutes. And guys were not in the right frame of mind. And it's up to the coach to gather the troops back together. Uh, Leangelo Ball, the third of the Ball brothers, went to help and safety protocol as well. So it's been a tough start. And, and he's really, he's kind of used this fourth quarter here to spur them on into their next game. And that's what, you, that's what leadership is all about. But, I mean, when you're part of a team, even in summer league, you see a young player have a freak accident and maybe part of their career, or at least this, maybe this coming season, take it away. Uh, it's hard to see. It's hard to watch. And you, you were there, and you said it was fairly graphic. It was, yeah. I was looking away when he went down, but it was hard as it always is with any injury and waiting for paramedics to come and you know he signed a two-way contract and he's got such a bright future and he'll still have a bright future and that's kai jones is a real good friend of his and i know that that was you know some of the stuff that be, was being said in his ears he was being wheeled off is look you know you'll rehab from this you'll come back stronger from this um but it was tough for these guys and a tough way to start summer league yeah really tough and let's face it it's been a tough spring for the horns uh, you know, so much promise in their organization because they had some players that had really significant years. They're adding pieces. Uh, they've got some young, talented guys, but uh, it's in any walk of life. Decisions you make, you have to be held accountable. But Scott Lewis, that is just, you know, really, 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 really difficult for a really nice young man. Had a bunch of equipment malfunction issues. They're working on the clock once again with 3.27 to go. Indiana Pacers with four players in double figures, led by Benedict Matherin, number six overall pick. 19 points in 16 minutes. Very productive first summer league for young Mr. Matherin. Got the ball in his hands right now with three and a half minutes to go. Gonna make a run at the hoops. Get two more on the ledger for Matthew. Twenty-one points. Still running with many of the starters out there for Charlotte. Man, it gives it up to Jalen Crutcher. Manaya for three, not there. Contested rebound, no good. Justin Manaya, who played his final collegiate season at Providence, number 14 in Teal, might recognize the last name. Omar Manaya, former Mets GM, that's his son. And I'm sure he's here, and if he is here, I'm sure he's scouting. <laughs> no doubt about that. And Ed Cooley said that Manaya was the best teammate he's ever coached. That says a lot. I think of all the places that Ed's been now, Providence. What a great compliment. Justin Manaya led Providence into their first regular season Big East title in Sweet 16 a couple of years ago. Coming up on two minutes to go. Richards gets the rebound over Manaya that 